um, we're going to save this. So I'm not going to do the whole, I'm going to wait for people to, um, to join. I'm just going to start talking. I'm Lucy. I am course lead on creative makeup design and practice at Hubert College. Um, I've been asked just to talk to you today um, a little bit about the course and what we do. Um, take some questions if there, anyone's got any questions. Um, obviously, we can't do open events and things at the moment because we can't be in the building. So this was considered to be the best the best way that we could do it. So um, about our degree course, we've got three different modes of entry, really. We've got our year zero, which is um, for people who maybe only have a level two um, and some art experience and maybe some makeup experience, um, but no formal level three qualification. And that is, um, we call it year zero or foundation year. And what that does is it enables you to build up a portfolio um, and try lots of different design courses and um, before going into your specialism in semester two. And then you, on successful completion, you are guaranteed a place on um, your chosen pathway, um, creative makeup. Um, so that's an option for anyone, any, any especially mature students, level two um, mature students who don't want to continue on in a college setting. Um, we often get them come right to us on a foundation year. Or if you have your level three or lots of industry experience, um, you can come right in on the foundation degree, which is a two year program. And then if you've already got... Um, a level five or partial degree, you can come right onto our top up BA top up, which takes the course up to a full BA, just like any other degree. So all our courses are funded by Student Finance England. So the tuition fees and um, a maintenance loan to support you throughout your study. You also get if you keep your attendance um hi you will get a bursary from the college as a kind of a thank you for being a great student and that hits in the summer um really really handy after all these student loans are finished and um, we are validated by the university of central lancashire um which is amazing because they are such an incredible design uh university that their, their design courses are incredible so we get really great quality assessment through them um so Basically, the way I always describe our, our degree is it's kind of like art school for makeup artists. It's quite different than um, a lot of other degrees around there in the fact that we do not expect you to specialise. So we don't force you into special effects or fashion or we kind of let you find your own path. And we focus a lot on um, on what the industry needs at the moment especially especially in the northwest we have a lot of photographic work available up here so a lot of our assessments are kind of photographic centered because that's where you will get jobs and that's a really big um driver for us is making sure that you you become working makeup artists at the end of your degree and um, we want your degree to have value not just in personal development but also in your careers um we have small class sizes and um, we never take on massive groups like large universities so the support that you get is is second to none I believe we've got a great team and um, there's me I am the course lead and one of the lecturers obviously um I've been a makeup artist for 20 20 years now um I've worked all over the world I've worked on fashion shows fashion shoots tv and film you name it I've probably worked on it um then we've got Rachel Duffy who's kind of a recent addition to our team this last year um you can check her out, Rachel Duffy Artistry on here. She is incredible. Um, her work is very conceptual and very artistic and she has really great painting skills. She was also a business development manager for a really great makeup brand. So she's got a lot of industry experience. Then we have Donna Wright. Um, she does all our design and beautiful art stuff, all the art school stuff that I talk about um, because we are a really design focused course. So we place a lot of emphasis on design and creating original makeup rather than copying work that already exists. Um, then we also have our facilitator, Sarah, who is a past student. She graduated last year, um, incredible student, and she's a great member of staff. She does all the extra support that we have. So she can help with academic stuff. She can help with art stuff. She can help with technology. She's an incredible all-rounder and she's also a brilliant makeup artist. So. We've got a great little team. Um, we also have placed a lot of emphasis, like I said, on careers and development. So we 
we really encourage collaborations with industry professionals. So that's one of the big pulls of our course, I think. We have professional photographers come in um, that you can work with that you wouldn't have access to outside of here um, who will help start your portfolios. Um, we collaborate with some great brands. This year we've worked with Lit Glitter and Real Techniques Brushes for live briefs who and they kindly sent gifts to the students as well. So that was lovely. Um, so industry experts are a big plus on our course. We are, Between all the staff, we have great contacts. So we use them as much as we can to um, help develop you and start your careers. Uh, what else? Um, so applications are open for September. You can head to the website, hubert.ac.uk to apply. You can also check out our Instagram, which is at HBUC Creative Makeup. Um, and see all the student, gorgeous student work. Um, incredibly proud of them. Um, you can check that out. Um, so if anyone's got any questions that I haven't covered, it's a lot of information. I know I've just kind of information bombed you, but um, if anyone's got any questions, I can take them now. And um, you can also message either our course Instagram or this Instagram, um, and we will be able to answer anything that you want to know. Um, so no questions. I'm going to scroll back up the screen. Sorry. Um, just see if in case I've missed any, cause I was talking a lot. I don't think I've missed any questions. Um, so yeah, just, uh, I'll just sum up with a little, um, overview or uh, kind of a summary of it, all that information that I just gave out. So we have three um entryways so you can come to us on year zero if you've got a level two or industry experience um and are 18 plus you can come right in on the degree if you already have a lot of industry experience and a level three and if you've done par a partial degree or you've got a level five you can go right onto the ba top up um we're very much a design-based course that shocks some people when they first get to us um is we teach a lot of design theory um but we still obviously do makeup as well um, let me just see, I think I've got a question. Um, you do not have to, someone just asked if they have to apply through UCAS. No, you can apply directly on the website um, and bypass UCAS. Um, so yeah, if you apply on the website, that gets sent to our admissions coordinator and they will send it right to me and I will get in touch for interviews. We do go on trips. We try as much as possible. This last year, not so much, um, because it all depends on student engagement and if students want to do them. Um, but in the past, we've been to Krylon, um, in Berlin. We got to tour their factory, which was absolutely incredible, and that's usually only reserved for kind of top makeup artists and and other brands. But um, I've had a really good relationship with Krylon for a long time, so they let us tour the factory. We've been to New York a couple of times, and we got an exclusive masterclass at Makeup Forever. That was absolutely wonderful. Um, so we do. We go to IMATS. Um, one of our students, Sarah, our facilitator now, um, won their Battle of the Brushes competition a couple of years ago in London, which is an incredible achievement. Um, so, yeah, we do try and get out and about as much as possible. We also visit MAC and Il well, Illamasco when it was there, not anymore. Um, Peaches and Cream are incredible. They do so much with us. They're lovely. Um, so, yeah, we do try and get out and about as much as possible. Anyone else got any questions before I kind of finish? Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of our course. Um, I'm proud of our students. Um, the jump to level four study is often quite quite harsh. Um, people aren't expecting it often to be as tough as it is. Um, but our students always rise to the challenge. Um, I think that's indicative of makeup artists in general. So we have a really lovely atmosphere. We've got a big focus on kindness. Um, and we get some absolutely beautiful work. Um, yeah, I've covered guest speakers briefly just uh, before, but yeah, we have lots of guest speakers. Um, we have some amazing photographers come in, all industry photographers who are working in the industry. Uh, Will Clark is one of our um, biggest friends. He comes in all the time for us. He's fantastic. You can check him out at William Clark Photo on here. Um, some of his work's also on our HBUC Creative Makeup page. 
um, in the student portfolios. We have industry experts come in all the time. We have Maria Malone come in a couple of, last year it was, I think. Um, we have, it, it's always industry artists or photographers that we have come in and talk to you because they have the most value. I'm just getting a drink of water. My, my favourite thing to teach Tilly is um, absolutely first year practical um, is my favourite are my favourite sessions. Um, we do a mix. So in first in semester one with first year, the practical sessions are based around TV and film work. And um, we follow a real script that's existed either on TV or film. And we work on it as if we were working on it for real. Um, and then in semester two, that becomes photographic. Um, and that's abs they're my favourite sessions. Being practical. Um without question my but my background is mainly in fashion and um, that's what I've always done the most of I've done a bit of everything but fashion's where I've, I've I've worked the most so anything fashion and conceptual and a bit weird I always enjoy teaching that's kind of my, my favorite thing um Amy um the course is two and a half days in class time so 14 hours of class contact time and then to make it up to a full-time course, you're expected to do the same again in self-study. There is a part-time option as well, which is seven hours a week. Um, but most people, because it's it's only two and a half days, find it easier to, to do it all in one go. Doing um, your course part-time makes it take twice as long. So most people try and fit in and do the two and a half days. Anyone else got anything? So, yeah, please check out our Instagram um, at HBUC Creative Makeup. Um, you see all the student work. You can see some of the staff and our, our work on there. Um, uh, head to the website, qbird.ac.uk, to apply. Um, we're doing interviews over the phone at the moment um, and getting you to send work and portfolios and things via email so we can see. Um, Feel free to drop us a line anytime, any questions, and we will answer them as best we can.